Hey y'all, Nick Palmer here with PR Equipment in Kearns, Texas. Hey, we're out in the shop again today. We wanted to go over one of our boom systems that we utilize a lot on these ag spray sprayers that we sell so many of. Um, and that is what we call the Longhorn Boom. So typically, you know, you've got your boom system and, or you've got your boom systems and, and this kind of falls in between there. So this is more of a hybrid system to where it's got the boomless nozzles on the outside as well as a center boom section through the middle. Um, and so it kind of adds some versatility. So while I would still consider this a boomless uh, style sprayer because of the boomless nozzles, it does add a few things to, to, this, to the equation. And so one thing it does is obviously it, it adds width. A standard boom list for us is, a, is like 32 feet of spray width. When we add this center section in, we gain about seven feet here. So we're, we get really close to 40 feet of spray width. Um, so you add that spray width in, but you also add some versatility. So when we start looking at that, uh, there's a lot of things that we can do with this. And, and one, of the, one of the big ones that, that we see a lot of people doing is, is maybe you're running alongside a fence row and the, the property across the fence is not yours and you do not want to drift or spray over that, that side. You know, you might run alongside with the, the fence line with this edge of the boom and cut this boomless nozzle off and then you just run that center section and that inside nozzle and do your first pass like that, kind of, kind of establishing a headland. Um, so a lot of people use it like that. Some people will use maybe just a boomless nozzle just to spray a fence row or, or whatnot or a ditch or whatnot. Um, and then some people even drive down the middle of a road and they'll use both boomless nozzles but not the center section and spray both ditches at the same time. So there, there's a lot of things you, you can kind of do with it. In addition to, you know, maybe, maybe you've got a bad spot that you missed some, some weeds on or they're just thick or in that area. You could actually just shut off the outside boomless nozzle and just spray with the center section. So there, there's a ton of things that you can kind of do. It just adds a little versatility. It doesn't add a ton of cost. It's only a couple hundred dollars more and you can go from the boomless to this Longhorn style. Um, so you're gaining a ton of versatility. It adds a lot of functionality to the sprayer, adds boom width or, or spray coverage width, I should say. Um, and like I say, it just kind of just kind of adds to the value of your sprayer. So it's a really nice option. We can put this this uh, boom style on any any sprayer we sell. We sell a lot of trailer sprayers with this, um, and we sell a lot of three point with this. And it's getting to be probably as common or as as uh, you know as popular as, as the strainer boomless, maybe even a little bit more. Um, so guys, if you're interested in a new sprayer, check us out on PREquipmentSales.com. Like us or follow us on YouTube. We're always doing videos like this, trying to kind of show you different products that we offer. Um, and on Facebook, we're, we're always showing different products and things as they come in or, or whatnot, or maybe specials that we have going on. So check us out on Facebook at PR Equipment. Uh, check us out on YouTube, which is probably where you're viewing this. Hit subscribe. Um, also, if you guys got questions, 903-270-0877. We'd be glad to help you with any sprayer questions that we can. And it, like I say, if you're in the market for a new sprayer, or if you need some sprayer parts, you know, check us out. Thanks, guys.